Oh, I was hoping you would sing it. <laughs> I thought you were gonna sing it. This is our Yes It Does. Yes It Does. We're gonna keep the Yes It Does pretty short because the best part of this video is gonna be the recipe in the second half. Chocolate chip peanut butter cookies. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> mm-hmm. They're really good. Yeah, I eat them all the time. We've kind of been snacking on them all afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> so the running this week consisted basically of us... Taking it easy. Yeah. We had 20 miles of sweeping to do for many on the Jenny this weekend, and we knew we didn't want to go out there tired. <laughs> so we wanted to look at it more as like, hey, we're doing a 20 mile race. Let's make sure that we rest this week, take it easy, so that Saturday we feel fresh and ready to go. All the cool, really good runners talk about tapering before the race, so we pretended that we were really good, cool racers and we tapered before the race. We tapered as in I didn't run at all and you ran one day. So <laughs> yeah, ran, we tapered. I ran six miles one day, I, I it was on Tuesday, and then I ran uh, 20 miles on Saturday for the sweeping. Yep, and I just did the 20 miles on Saturday. And it was really cool. Yeah, it was a really cool experience. We're not gonna talk about it though, just because we are gonna have another video coming out actually talking about it. Or maybe two, we're not sure how it's Yeah, we'll just see how it works. So that was our Yes It Does. Well, it was quick. Yeah, see I told you it was gonna be quick. Go okay, back. let's uh... That was quick. Um, we need to sign up. Oh no, we don't need to sign up. We just need to say, follow this recipe, make these cookies, eat a lot of these cookies. Oh, one other thing. We've decided that our lifeisms are now gonna be posted Monday evening, Tuesday morning, as opposed to Tuesday evening and Wednesday morning, just because it puts the videos really close together. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna space it out a little bit more for you so it's not so much all at one time. I know, the content, it just keeps coming. And it'll never stop. <laughs> it'll never stop. Don't stop me now. Oh, good, because I thought you were gonna go, don't, don't stop, stop believing. <laughs> Nope, I didn't see that coming. Okay, does anyone really see Journey coming? No, they don't. <laughs> Enjoy the video. Okay, bye. Hi, I'm Pamela and this is Life is Trail Running. I'm gonna be filming today by myself because Jerry's out running and there's a lot of stuff we need to get done before the many on the Jenny which actually now happened this past weekend, but I'm filming this in the past for the, pro you know what I mean. <laughs> so I wanted to get a couple things done around the house. I wanted to get some video edited and filmed ahead of time. What we're gonna be doing today is I just made these up on my own over the weekend and it was just an idea I had. They're delicious. Once again, I don't have a that recipe. However, I will give you measurements down below in the description so you'll be all set with that. And we are making chocolate peanut butter balls. They are vegan. They are not raw considering we are using maple syrup, vanilla, and some chocolate chips. But no need to bake, no muss, no fuss. Very simple. So all you will need is some type of crispy brown rice cereal. We're using the gluten-free kind. You will need peanut butter, almond butter, sunflower butter, pumpkin butter, whatever kind of nut butter or seed butter you like. Salt, we're using Himalayan salt. Vanilla, maple syrup, and some type of chocolate chips. We are using the Enjoy Life mini semi-sweet chips. You'll also need a bowl, a knife, and a spatula. We're ready to get started. The first thing we're gonna start with is our nut butter. 
And what I'm using in this is peanut butter. Like I said, you can use almond butter, cashew butter, whatever you prefer. You're gonna scoop your peanut butter into your bowl. And I'm gonna do about a cup and a half of peanut butter. I'm gonna then do half a teaspoon of vanilla, half a teaspoon of salt. Maple syrup, that one's gonna be a little bit trickier for measurement. Just because it depends on how sweet you want it, I would recommend starting out with anywhere between two tablespoons and a quarter of a cup, and then kind of go from there to see if you know it's it's too tough to work the dough. Maybe you need to add a little more maple syrup, or sweetness-wise, just depends on what you prefer. Okay, so you're gonna take your spatula and just start mixing and working your maple syrup into your peanut butter or whatever nut butter or seed butter you're using. Okay, I'm gonna add the cereal. You're gonna add one and a half cups up to two cups of cereal. Let's start mixing this around. And you don't wanna press it because you don't wanna crunch the cereal down into little pieces. So you just wanna really gently fold it around the bowl. It's kinda like when you make Rice Krispie treats. your dough and if it looks too peanut buttery and you want to add some more Rice Krispie treats, go ahead. Sure. Why not, right? Rice Krispie treats? No, brown rice crisps. Not Rice Krispie treats. That's what I get for talking about it earlier. As you can see, it wants to form into balls, which is a nice consistency. Let's just taste it, make sure that it's sweet enough. Mm-hmm, it's perfect. Now we'll add the chocolate chips. You can put as many chocolate chips in as you like, or as few. Just remember, when you do add these, if you add a lot of them, you might have to add more peanut butter or maple syrup. Sit around and see how it looks. All right, the dough looks perfect. Now I'm just gonna take it and start rolling it into balls. So I think it's montage time. Here we go. And before you start, make sure your hands are clean. Side note too, these might be a little loose and soft now, but once you put them in the fridge, they're gonna harden right up. I've got some extra chocolate chips in the bowl, so I'm just gonna add a little bit more peanut butter, Rice Krispie, maple syrup, and make a few more balls, cause why not? Not like they're gonna go to waste. And there we are. They're all done. Look how cute. I would give you a number of days they'll last in the fridge. However, when you make them, you and your friends and your family are just gonna wanna eat them right away because they're so good. So they'll last, you know, up to five days, but trust me, they won't last five days. Thank you for watching. I will put the ingredients and the steps that I took down below in the description. And if you like this video, you can hit the like button. You can subscribe to our channel. That way you'll be up to date on all the videos when they come out. You can message us on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at Life is Trail Running or email us at Life is Trail Running at gmail.com. Hit us up on the DMs, comment below. Thanks for watching.
run the dirt and eat these cookies because they're just delicious. Mm-hmm. Jerry's gonna be lucky if he gets any. Mm -hmm. Starship. Oh God. Not from Star Wars Holiday Special. Yep. Oh no. <laughs> Will you light the sky on fire? You know, they tune in for the music. <laughs> yeah, they do. That's our singing voices. Okay. <laughs> Eat cookies. Eat cookies. Don't screw around and eat those cookies. <laughs>